So random question for you. Is there any way to shut off preference wise to tell me that the meeting's being recorded? I haven't had or seen the option to do that. I think they have to do it now due to the security issues Zoom is getting. Like, I think they tell it by default. But yeah, let me know if you find the shutoff um, setting. It's kind of reminds me of the HAL 1000 um, AI. Cool, let's wait for Josh as well and we can go ahead and get started. Maybe you should take a stress pill, Mac. Me? <laughs> that isn't that what, he's, isn't that what uh, Hal says to Dave. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny. I haven't seen that movie in a while. I think it's, it's good to go back and watch it again. It's a classic. What's really funny is if uh, I was watching it, uh, it was probably about three months ago, and uh, um, my wife was in the other room, and I didn't realize it, but if you, like, if you only hear that movie, it's actually really, dis it's, it's even really, uh, it's even really strange, more strange, because like, there's so little dialogue in that movie. It's, it's, it's pretty uh, surprising. Right. Let me ping Josh, because we wanted this to be the last, the, the closeout, and uh, I, I would like closure from PM as well. Uh, while we're on that topic, uh, why don't we go ahead and get started with um, the shards first, uh, just to save time. I'm sharing my screen. And as always, we're going through the numbers. So MRs merge per month. Um, Christopher, can you take us away? Yeah, so uh, we definitely are trending towards like about 1800 for the month. Um, we definitely have seen a shift where we're getting a little more consistency uh, in delivery just because we've gone to these weekly drops. Um, though there is still a little bit of a scattering where uh, the, the week of uh, 18th, 19th sometimes can be uh, a little bit higher. Uh, but generally speaking, we've seen a pretty consistent drop. The big thing is, is that uh, for August, we just appear to be uh, off of our trend towards uh, uh, 2100 uh, on the um, on the including contra community contributions uh, part of the graph um, and it from what I can tell so far uh, there's definitely a little bit of um, a vacation but uh, I don't I don't know if I can quantify it yet to, to really give a, a you a thumbs up thumbs down on that if that's really the impact of it yep and I think this was covered in the good conversation as well so I don't think we need to spend too much time here um, yeah it's just a, agreed. the trend uh, I think this falls in the same line, so feel free to just. Um, yeah, and usually, uh, basically, we've we've uh, gone through five MRs uh, per author. Um, obviously, it's going to get rebaseline when we switch to uh, tracking more uh, from the other perspective. Best way I can describe it is: is ideally, we'd be that at the turn of the month, which we're. Um, uh, let's see here. We're we're essentially. And what, we're three days beyond the, or well, no, two days beyond the turn of the month. So we're just a little bit behind as well on the, the average rate, which is not surprising. Cool. Moving on to the next, uh, same update as last time. I think the PMs are looking at um, P1s and P2s. Uh, Josh, I'm not sure you have any updates for us on, on the prioritization on the PM side. Um, do you think the improvements that we have is enough to, um, to keep us going along for a few more iterations and then reevaluate. Yeah, I, I, I think you raised a challenge beyond the information. Um, each stage is unique, and so if there's any one, you know, single method to uh, sort of or guidelines uh, that we should be that prescriptive on. Uh, you know, another another milestone, you know, probably two or three, and and see a pulse. Um, I can I can tell you I think we're we're generally realigning towards uh, a larger priority on bugs. Um, having picked up temping on the runner project, um, definitely feel some of the pitchforks. Uh, okay, 
Um, so we're aiming to close out this this working group. Uh, or out. Yeah, I, 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 I think we made a change, and I think um, it's going to take time to see effect. But let's, uh, you know, if it becomes a problem again, then we can reopen. But I'm not sure it should block the. Yep. Okay. Josh, you're cutting out. So I, I think I, I read what you're trying to say. Uh, let me do this then. Let me create an issue to remind us to revisit this number within a few milestones. And then I think the iterations that we made today, I think is adequate for us to, to monitor um, uh, the improvements that we have decided on. Sounds, sounds good for you? Um, okay, then. Um, we can do the confirmation offline, but I think that's in line with what Josh was trying to say. Uh, for hypotheses, uh, I think we closed this out. Uh, as of last week. Awesome, 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 awesome. So let, let me just stop sharing my screen and then we can dive into the agenda. Thank you, Josh, for confirming async. Appreciate it. I'll, I'll create an issue to pull up back on time to resolve bugs later. So uh, agenda items. So I'm going to number three. Uh, I think this was a, um, a follow-up action item from last time, if we want to include community contributions in the Periscope charts, and I think Mark has fixed it um, as of last week. So if you go to Periscope right now on uh, the throughput numbers, you will see roughly um, uh, the charts mirroring um, uh, what we see in the quality dashboard minus security and minus community contributions. Um, uh, Christopher, is that adequate for you, or do you want con community contributions as well? Say that again. So community contributions can be included. I think last time we we discovered that um, uh, community contributions were not included in the throughput dashboard in Periscope, and that was also partly why the numbers were mismatching from your point of view. Yeah, I went ahead and updated, um, and I'm just double checking this. Yeah, so now uh, community contributions are included. Okay, awesome. So, so, we so can... we're we're in good shape there, as long as the pipeline and uh, look like uh, the numbers look higher uh, based on that. So okay, I'm okay. good shape. So it looks like we have, we have fixed that issue um, on, on on the Periscope side. Cool. Okay. Uh, next one is the um, the the biggest one. Uh, I want to outline the follow-up items that we need um, after we close or this this band is working group. So there's a quality dashboard deprecation plan. Uh, the dashboard will still be up and metric will still flow. And if you notice that like, we added a banner, a deprecation banner on top of the uh, quality dashboard as well, just to prepare folks of what's to come in the coming quarter. Uh, again, it's not going away. The metrics will still flow and it's kind of our legacy yardstick to measure the new, um, uh, the new residency of the metrics, new home of them in the future. And the next one is the method of accounting of our new way of doing things. So uh, I would appreciate if um, Dahlia, Christopher, you can take a read and, and give us comments. Uh, I will link the issue uh, to discuss this in a bit. But before that, let me just share my screen. This is great work from Remy um, doing the investigative uh, effort here. So this is all the projects potentially to be included and exclude, excluded. The check the checkbox here is what is in GitLab, sorry, in the quality dashboard right now. And um, this is the one time opportunity to, to do the accounting switch. This is the column that Remy added on, whether it's customer facing or feature, uh, feature forward feature facing or not. So I think this, this list here is around 70 now on the curated lists. Um, so we, we, there's a few places that we should be including like Pages Proto and or whatever. Um, but the bulk of it, I want to underscore, is um, security products. So we have a, long, a bunch of really small, small projects. Um, and Christopher, if, if, this, if we can include someone from the Secure and Defend EM to tell, help take us to look at this, I think that would be great as well. Um, so security products has a number of them. I think it's, it is. I think these are forward-facing uh, gymnasium, and there's a bunch of um, test projects from from security as well. So uh, demos, for example, uh, like 
anything that's like tests, I think these should be excluded. Now it's, it's currently included. Uh, so yeah, I'll pause there for discussions um, on how we wanted to handle this. OK, so uh, column J is accurate, you think? Column J is the current state, which is accurate. OK, and then column K, where we have yeses and nos, we think that's accurate. Uh, but we don't have the ones for the other, other repos. Is that essentially? Yes, yes. So okay. column K, that is yes right now. I think that essentially lines up with what Sid asked in the, the components charts, um, if you recall. Uh, and it, it, I think the action item here is decide what else we need to include uh, in addition to this list. OK, so like uh, as an example, um, GitLab emoji is currently not in our account, but it is included in the product. Is that like uh, emoji? Just to make sure I read it, correct, read it correctly. I think this is, this is what we include when you add an emoji in your discussions. Um, it is customer facing, which is why I think Remy, Remy added. And the list can be questioned. If you want to exclude this, that's fine. No, actually, I think, I think if it's, if it's the, the role is, I think we need to be very pedantic here. If it's built into the product and it's part of our release, it is a, it is a repo that we're going to include. That's, that's just, you know, even GitLab emoji. <laughs> I mean, like somebody's working on that. It may be a UX person. Like if a UX person spends the time to update an emoji for whatever reason or add a set of emojis, uh, say they're our graphic designer, uh, they're definitely counted against our, our count. Uh, so we should include their contributions in that measurement. That's, that's kind of my take on it from that perspective. Yep, I, I agree here as well. So it's cool that we found some that we were missing. Like that's, you know, so this is really a true reconciliation. Okay. And then uh, we need uh, somebody from Todd's team to basically help us with the security one specifically. Yes. Right. Yes. The bulk of it is, is security. And um, getting feedback there would be helpful as well. Uh, Dahlia, since you're on a call, any, anything you want to include from ops that I may be missing? Uh, would you like to take some time to review the list? And yeah. Get that no, I'll sit. Definitely, we'll review the list with the with the team. But I know we've done a number of iterations when we were working on the quality dashboard. So, um, where we left things off, the assumption is we have all the projects for ops because we've already iterated on them in the quality dashboard. But um, as as precaution, we'll definitely review with the managers and let you know. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate it. I'm linking the issue right now. Uh, the issue is. Um, uh, one, three, four. So if you click on that, I'll mention everyone here again uh, in this call to to uh, communicate this far and wide. Um, one, three, four. Cool. Uh, any comments, questions from everyone? Very good. Okay. Uh, Moving on to the next one. So I, I have built this collaborative venue uh, prior, and now everybody in engineering productivity has has Periscope editor access by default now going forward. And we have been helping the data team to fix bugs and accelerate the numbers that we need from engineering and quality. So um, we have um, a ramp into into working more closely with them in this. And uh, I have a dashboard set up um, by the request of Christopher. Let me link here as well. If there's any collaboration that's needed um, from development that needs engineering productivity, we can use this board. The first issue um, obviously listed here is the, um, the new way of new method of accounting. So one second, let me just share my screen and link the board here as well. Um, Here. Can everyone see my screen? Cool. Um, so yeah, the, the first one is new accounting method. Um, that's uh, the one we'll discuss later. So any future looking items that needs to change in their scope, um, we're happy to help help work here. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll pause for questions and, and comments. Yeah, probably the the main one. Uh, well, one, do we have this? We have this document in the handbook. Uh, it's about to be. This is okay. The, off the oven as of like last night. Okay. Yeah. Let me know. Um, hit, hit me up with the issue, and then um, uh, I can make sure to communicate that uh, more broadly to the development team. Um, 
the other one that I was thinking about was is I use I personally and Dahlia and me have a good feel for this. I personally use the dashboard uh, in uh, GitLab quite a bit to kind of look at things and different teams associated with it. What's unclear to me is is how much of that goes into Periscope versus how much goes into product. Mm. So um, that's that's the one aspect. Is as we deprecate it, that's the one set of criteria I have is is that we can still easily get to dashboards. Are related to that, and I'm not sure whether or not the productivity team is going to be responsible for creating those dashboards in in uh, Periscope, or if that's going to fall to uh, development. So that's probably a discussion we just need to kind of work out from that perspective. Okay. Uh, yeah, I happy to to. I think it, I think we can't capture that in this meeting, but in the deprecation plan, that is a single source of truth I'm working on right now. So that that plan, it's it's a work in progress. So we're listing everything in the quality dashboard right now in that plan, and then we're deciding whether it's going to go into Insights or go into Periscope in that issue. Okay, so once we have that, then I guess the other thing is just making sure we have a place to track those issues. Right. Um, if, if we get to the point where we feel like we can deprecate the board but still have those issues kind of understood. Okay, that makes sense. Yep. So uh, actually, I think all the issues are coming out of issue 116. I think we should just tag it with the quality so you have visibility in where the metrics. Like, it's basically a list of issues with each metric and where is it going, if it's Periscope, or if it's, if it's going into the, the native version, and we'll make it clear there as well. Okay. Does that sound OK? That sounds great. Cool. Uh, anything else? That, that's all I have. Uh, otherwise, we'll move into reviewing the exit criteria one last time. and, and um, communicating far and wide how uh, we have completed our task. Cool, okay. Um, uh, 20% increase in development department throughput. I think we have touched it. Um, I, Christopher, I'll leave it up to you how you want to uh, create this. Yeah, uh, market is essentially done. Um, okay. Uh, we touched on nine MRs. We did, we uh, essentially uh, we touched on nine MRs, and uh, we found correlation between our hiring rates and our current our current growth. Uh, we're going to recalibrate based on a new a new metric, anyways. So uh, we should consider this one done. Uh, second is done, third is done, fourth is done, five done, six, seven done. So the next two is the training materials. Um, yeah, so uh, basically um, the I reviewed the original training and it's great. Uh, nice work by Dahlia, I think it was about nine months ago now. Um, uh, what uh, basically um, uh, we need to do is once we get the, the deprecation done, we need to probably go update that because all the graphs and everything will be different and then there'll be different dashboards between the two. Uh, so I opened up issue 5137 uh, uh, just now to basically address that. Okay. Awesome. So we should mark it as done with a follow-up item of 5137 once we do, de do the deprecation. Cool, awesome. Or we uh, can I, the deprecation list too. Um, so sorry, come, come again. I think we can close it out with the condition of closing this issue out. That's probably where I'm heading, unless, unless you want to close this issue first and I can grade it as done. Um, close. Sorry, like to do. I'm sorry, say that again? Uh, do you want to close 5137 first, then grade this as done, or do you want me to just grade it as done with the- Grade it as done, 5137 is dependent on the deprecation timeline, and that's you know whatever it turns out to be for that work. So it's not working group uh, associated. Cool. And I have the last one. So the triage training workshop. So I, I, I've, I've been very strict on myself. We have two, two training recordings out already. Um, and, the, and the third one that we showcase the, the triage package. So uh, with all the improvements going in, I think this is because this can be considered done. I can link all the YouTube recording and just embed it in the handbook where we list all our um, triage packages, uh, essentially this page. Um, and I can Consider just closing this out as done when that, when that is done as well. So we have, um, just so everyone knows, we have a triage operations um, landing page now. I can embed those recordings in the triage packages for, for EMs and PMs, and that's what, how we are running things at GitLab. And, and this will be considered uh, done. Um, so make a update. 
handbook. Cool. Um, anything else we should talk about? I think the grading is done. Anything else that we missed? Well, Dahlia sent a little silent note, so just want to make sure to say uh, I'll verbalize it. Uh, thanks, Mech, for running the meeting and the productivity team for the great collaboration on these efforts. Looking forward to continuing to work together on these. So really appreciate all the hard work of everyone involved. Thank you. It's a team effort. I think Remy and Mark are not here as well. I think Kyle is stepping in. So thank you for all the efforts on the team as well. And Josh, I think you were um, the, the last final piece of the puzzle to close this out. So thank you. And of course, Craig, our last hypothesis um, close out. Cool. Uh, very uh, low key close out. I will <laughs> end the recording and then make the MRs and then tag everybody for review. And then, yeah, we can consider this working group close as of this week. Great. Thanks, y'all. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Bye bye. Bye.